Welcome back to Science on Household Hacker. It's been a year and a half strong we're on Scientific Tuesdays, but one thing came up via comments and emails. They kept coming in, day in, day out. You guys want more science, you don't just want it on a Tuesday, you might want it on a Wednesday, a Thursday, a Friday, whatever. So you know what? We came up with an idea. Scientific Shuffle. Welcome. Bubbles. Miracles of physics, delightful to children and adults alike. But what if you could make your own scientific super bubbles? Today, we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. In front of 10 bucks. Well, let's jump right in, because that's exactly what we do on Scientific Shuffle. Here's what you need for some super scientific bubbles. It's time the world finds out. Glycerin, corn syrup, and dish soap. The glycerin keeps the bubbles from evaporating. That's really key here because you don't want these things popping as soon as you start making a bubble. It may seem like bubbles are unpredictable, but they have to follow nature's basic laws. They act like a prism and reflect basic colors of the universe. And you know what? You get to learn about light reflection and refraction as a bonus. The nearer you get, bubbles are teeming with colors. Bubbles always have to be shaped like an orb, even if they're initially not. They're going to attempt to work themselves into that no matter what. Next, we're gonna add one single cup of corn syrup. You can get this right next to the maple syrup, you know, for your waffles. Next, we're adding three cups of dish soap. You can use anything you find at the grocery store, the cheaper the better. Now here's a fun factoid, even dolphins play with bubbles. It's quite amazing really, and it's a behavior recently learned. They spout bubbles out of their blowhole and make huge bubble rings by directing their heads. They push them with their heads and play games with each other. They've learned this over time. And it's a learned skill, much like making huge bubbles is. So it's pretty easy to make the little contraption that we use to make bubbles. You get two dowel rods, just like this. They're about 50 cents a piece at any hardware store. Then you get some cotton string. Tie a length across the top, and then tie one string to the left end and one string to the right end. Very simple. Make sure there's a washer there because you want it to be weighted down when you put it into the bubbles. It's that simple. When bubbles pop, looks like they just exploded. But you know what? In reality, you have complex science occurring right in front of your eyes. What you're seeing is surface tension holding the soap bubble together, and the air is forcing the molecules apart when the bubble rips. This causes soap molecules to shoot out everywhere as tiny droplets. Keep in mind there's a ton of technique and skill involved if you want to make gigantic bubbles. We're talking school bus size bubbles. Nom nom. When you touch a bubble, it pops. To prevent that, you can touch a bubble with anything covered in the soap solution itself, or possibly even wet. When bubbles pop, looks like they just exploded. But you know what? In reality, you have complex science occurring right in front of your eyes. What you're seeing is surface tension holding the soap bubble together, and the air is forcing the molecules apart when the bubble rips. This causes soap molecules to shoot out everywhere as tiny droplets. Hey look, we've got more super hot hot bubble action. Click on the video here and you can see more. We're quite happy to bring science back and keep it going. Remember, if you submit a video response, we'll be sure to check it out and we'll put the best up on our page. We'll see you next time for Scientific Shuffle.